Hey everybody, hope everybody's doing good and staying blessed. I am back when I'm basically going to be doing um, a little bit of playing around with my hair. Um, so hopefully you enjoy some of the stuff that, I, that I'm doing with my hair and we'll see what everybody thinks about it. So I was sitting around and I figured that I would um, play around with some stuff. Um, I have a whole bunch of little rubber bands and other things that I can use to style my hair with. But um, I figured that I would do something a little different that I have not, um, I have not showed with my hair at this length. So this is a style that I used to like to do when my hair was um, longer because all it is is sec hair sectioned going all the way towards the back of the head each section you put on a ponytail hold or a rubber band and you arrange the sections one behind each other so that it forms like a mohawk now this is this was easier for me to do when my hair was longer but I just wanted to see what it would look like if I did it on my head at this length in this shrunken state. So this is how my hair is looking. The back. style is something that um, I've done before and I liked how it looked when I did it on my head when it's longer I think it's it's like more edgy looking at my at the length that my hair is right now and I really didn't go through and perfect the way the angle and the way that the hair is on my head but you get the basic of idea of how this would work so I'm going to play around with my hair a little bit more and I'll come back and show you something else that I'm doing. Alright, so the next um, style is one which has, um, I guess, sort of an asymmetrical sweep with a bang in the front of the hair. Uh, the lower back part of the hair is still down and I used one of these clips hopefully you'll be able to see it to hold the, the uh, remaining portion of my hair Uh, with 
keep it being this length just adding in something as simple as a headband position differently on your head which that's, this is one of the ways that I wear a headband further back behind the ear placement towards the center back part of my hair um, sometimes I'll wear the headband and in the front when I don't want my hair hanging in my face which is the way I think a lot of people like to wear their headband push back a little bit. Some people like to wear theirs right on the front part of their head. They don't push it back too far. But adding a headband um other people do it but let's see find one that's like right in the front part of my head and move the other ones out of the way but they just like all right so piece of yarn and I guess I'll take this one now I could stop start all the way up at the top but as you can see, I loop the one end here and hold it. And then I just start to wrap. And it's really awkward me using the camera to do this. So I'm going to sit back a bit and um, wrap where yeah, I can see because I have a mirror right here. thought that this would be a cute way to add a splash of color into your lock or um, you can wrap loose hair like this too but um, I just thought it was cute and you just keep on wrapping it down Since I'm not going to leave this in, I'm just going to show you what it looks like. I'm not going to tie it, but you would, what you would do at the end of however long you want to make it, would you would tie it off 
make a tiny little knot and snip off the excess. But see that? I think that's a cute little accessory to add and in whatever color you might want. But that would give you the basic idea how that would be. And to get it off, you would just snip off how you tied it and unwrap it. I just thought that that would be a cute, neat idea. Um, the other thing that I was thinking about doing with my hair would be to do yarn braids over top of my hair, but part of me is kind of just used to having my hair like it is right now without anything extra on it. Um, but I think yarn braids is a, is a nice, neat idea to get color in your hair without actually coloring it some other color. already did a video with me with my my buns on my hair but I didn't in the video where I showed how to make it grab this um I had made these for my hair in the video that I showed how I made it I didn't say anything about this part this is actually a satin material I sewed on to it so that when I put it on my hair, the yarn isn't touching my hair. I really like these I, and um, I'll probably actually start wearing them more often when I um, go out and stuff like that because I really like this style and there's a video pre previous to all of this that shows me wearing my hair up with the little buns made out of it. Um, other hairstyles that I was tempted to actually do with my hair and show you guys, one of them was the lock petals, but um, with the lock petals, I have more than enough of these little rubber bands, but I really don't like um, using these that much because if if you don't take them out properly, it can snag in your hair and pull strands of your hair out, and I really don't like that. And I would have to use way more of these in my hair doing that style than I did on that um, mohawk thing, braid hawk that I did, but. I might revisit actually doing that style at some point. Uh, one, when I feel like I really want to try it. Maybe when my hair is much longer than it is, even though I could do it. Um, two, maybe I'll do it one day when I'm actually going out somewhere special and I'm going to leave it in. Because most of the time, I don't leave styles in my hair at all because I like going to suit my hair like this um, unless it's braided but hopefully I've given some ideas of stuff to do with hair and I hope everybody's doing good and staying blessed